In this video, I'll be talking about anemia, its classifications and the symptoms associated with it. Most common type of blood cell that our blood carries is RBC and it is required for the delivery of oxygen from the lungs to the cells and the delivery of carbon dioxide from the cells to the lungs back again. In this way, it not only fulfills the oxygen demand of the cells but it also maintains the pH of the blood. Now, anemia is a condition that indicates that, that there are not enough of RBCs in the blood to supply required amount of oxygen to the cells. Based on MCV values, the anemia is divided into three categories. To understand what is MCV, please follow my previous video on erythrocyte indices where I have explained all the RBC indices in detail. The link is in description. Now coming back to this video. When mean corpuscular volume is less than 80 cubic micrometers, that means you have microcytic anemia. This means the size of RBC present in the blood is small than the normal RBC size. The causes of microcytic anemia are iron deficiency anemia, anemia of chronic diseases, thalassemia, sideroblastic anemia and lead poisoning. If the MCV value is between 80 to 100 cubic micrometer which is the normal range but still anemia is present this is normocytic anemia. In this the size of RBCs are normal in the blood but still you have anemia. The cause for this could be either present inside the RBC or outside the RBC. Based on this, we have classified it further into two types, intrinsic RBC defect and extrinsic RBC defect. In intrinsic RBC defect, causes could be hereditary spherocytosis, sickle cell anemia, G6PD deficiency and pyruvate kinase deficiency. Extrinsic RBC defects could be present in the conditions like autoimmune hemolytic anemia and malaria. Now, if the MCV values is more than 100 cubic micrometers and you have anemia, then it is macrocytic anemia. In macrocytic anemia, the size of RBCs are very large, but they are immature RBCs which are not functional. And so you have anemia. The causes for this are folate deficiency anemia, vitamin B12 deficiency, liver disease, hypothyroidism, myelodysplastic syndrome. Some common symptoms which is present in anemia are shortness of breath on slight efforts, insomnia, difficulty in concentration, cold fingers and toes for a long period of time even over the efforts of keeping it warm, yellowish discoloration of the skin and the conjunctiva beneath the eyes could all be indicating that you have anemia. So if you often experience with these symptoms, give your health priority and get the routine blood test done, especially if you are a female. Because more than half of women in India have anemia and sadly they are not aware of it. Lastly, I request you to please subscribe my channel for more such videos and thank you so much for watching.